Hello? Oh, hi, darling. Half a world away, another day. So let's go play on the moon. And welcome back to another episode of On the Other Line. I'm your host, Kelly Keegs. We have a lot to discuss today. <laughs> Almost, I, arguably too much. Too much to discuss. I We're going to try to hit all the points and keep it short and not go on for too long because our worlds have been turned upside down. Um, things have happened over the weekend that are, are just, I don't know if I'm ready to accept it. I don't know if I'm ready to move forward, but we have to talk about it regardless. Ladies, how are we doing today? How are you feeling? Love is dead. Love is dead. Yeah. Love is dead. That's a I fact. Know. Do you yeah. feel the same way, Gia? I'm sad. <laughs> Love is dead and spring is here. That is, that's literally all, all that is the news. I think that we can, that we should name the episode that. Love is dead and spring is here. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, to, that's really what we're going to be talking about today. Of course, we are referring to the, uh, a, a new national nightmare has, <laughs> has hit the world. An yeah. epidemic. An epidemic. And it is the fact that, uh, Taylor, Allison Swift, and Joe Alwyn have broken up. And I, I'm i still in denial about this. Here's the thing. I'm not going to be one of the crazy people that's like, no, they didn't break up. They didn't break up. It's all fake. It's all a lie, whatever. Because I don't think that this would be in the news if it weren't true. I don't. Taylor is really specific yeah, no. about CNN what's. CNN reported on it. Right, oh, right. Wow. My dad, I got home for Easter. My dad was like, even I'm hearing about it. And I'm yeah. like, you know, whatever, from the news. And, um. It's it's a sad thing because so many of Taylor's best songs in the past few years were written about or with Joe Alwyn. Mm. And so it's just kind of shocking. I'm I'm shocked, I think is the right word. <sighs> yeah, I and really thought that was gonna go the long haul. The official statement is that uh is that they grew apart, it was an amicable split, it's all fine, whatever. You know, in what world is a split amicable? I can't yeah. I'm sure there was some sort of breaking point. Although our girl is so mature now, she's you know, doing a lot of deep thinking. She's probably like, think, I don't know. I'm just, I just want to. I love them. I just, I'm sad. I'm really yeah. sad. Yeah, and I want to hear more. But I, it's crazy though that we haven't heard. I mean, no, it's not crazy that we haven't heard anything from her. I am surprised that we haven't heard anything from her. Well, did you see like what the People article about like the source close to Taylor? What did it? No, I didn't because I, I got to it by the time they took that out, which made me start getting, you know, start feeling like, okay, is this real Let or not? Let me see if I can Because they've removed it. whatever confirmation it was. Or at least oh, people, really? people are telling me that. Yeah, I didn't see it for myself. Like I never saw the the confirmation from them. I only oh, saw the Lord. tweet from Pop Crave. I saw the tweet from Entertainment Tonight. I was mm -hmm. on my way to a, my friend's birthday dinner, I and I was like, I'm not gonna ruin this dinner right now. And I spent the whole time like like half checking my phone. I know. Like, I felt like shit. But nobody, they're all laughing at me. Like my friends don't actually care. But I just I hate being like I was with friends who aren't on as online as yeah. I am, and I feel like an asshole whenever I'm like needing to be online when mm -hmm. I'm with these people who are like my real friends and like need to like you know. Be an adult and have a conversation over a steak dinner, not yeah. just like cry <laughs> over Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift tweets. Yeah. yeah, it's like ridiculous. But um, but yeah, so basically, people like the quote was Joe has struggled with Taylor's level of fame and the attention from the public. The differences in their personalities have also become harder to ignore after years together. And then another one said they had plenty in common, and she fell in love and fell in love in a safe bubble while she was retreating from the world during reputation. Mm -hmm. Adds the source. Then the pandemic hit, and they were locked down together and able to continue growing their relationship in this isolated way, insulated way. Mm -hmm. But he didn't really know her yet outside of that bubble. That honestly makes complete sense to me. Like that to me still is like Taylor Swift. But here's the thing: so it's Joe Allen is uh, number one, very hot. Number two, <laughs> British. Um, so really, the full package. And, and I, <laughs> there's really nothing else you need. But he is not nearly as famous as Taylor. Obviously, no. never was. Uh, you know, probably never will be. No one's as famous as her, especially right now. And he knew I'm dating someone famous and there's a lot of conversation about her online and she has a lot of crazy fans whatever but he and she said this before and many people have said it before he's not like an online guy he's not a very social guy he's not going to parties he's only going to like you know main events I think they've only been to two or three events together like they yeah. really don't do things a lot together because he doesn't really like to do events at all she goes by herself and I can't imagine 
him being so chill with like her new album re-records coming out like I bet this this rift started happening around like all too well 10 minute version I bet anything because I think that that was really the time where everybody was like we fucking love Taylor like Taylor's the most famous woman in the fucking world Mm -hmm. and you she can't walk down the street you know what I mean like she can't move she's used to this level of fame and he has never like you know they were in lockdown forever they she was retreating from the world like this thing says like he never really saw how fucking crazy get people get for her and i think probably I know, seeing but it, it's like it's still Taylor no no that's Swift. it's to be clear it's pussy shit i think that yeah, it's like yeah, ridiculous yeah. to be like to be like oh i can't handle like the level it. of fame of my girlfriend or i you know but as we as we know ladies um men are intimidated by powerful women yeah and that's just going to be a true statement forever like that yeah. is unfortunately the thing but i do think that with him it sounds like there's a level of that like fame anxiety that he just it's too difficult and Taylor's so fucking famous. And then on the flip side, the fact that Taylor's not out like, you know, talking shit or whatever, amicable breakup, blah, 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 want to sweep it under the rug. I'm sure she's sad about this. Mm. And I'm sure that she also is like, I'm fucking busy right now. I was like, I can't process this breakup right now. I yeah. can't be like held back and worrying about your stress mm-hmm. because this is this is the biggest time in my life. Like nothing right now has ever been this big. And here I am and I need to get through these tours. I need to re-record my fucking albums and take my life back. And maybe five years down the road, they get back together or something, yeah. you know? I, I also was, I wondered, like, maybe he thought that she would kind of be, like, done with, like, the whole, like... Or maybe just writing albums writing, like she did for Folklore. Yeah, and like, yeah. touring, you know? Like, mm-hmm. maybe he thought the Eras tour would be, like, the last thing, you for know? For sure, yeah, for sure. But and it could yeah, be it could be which is why yeah. I think which is why I think so many people myself included are so like hell bent on making sure we're there I'm not so sure she'll do it again you know I'm sure somewhere in the future she'll do something else and whatever mm. or like limited edition tours or everybody all these artists end up doing things well into their you know into their lives but I do think that it has a little bit of a, a finality to it that is stressing people out and making people wanting to go see this especially because like Loverfest was uh, canceled because of COVID. Mm-hmm. I think also too, I think COVID plays a huge part in all of this. And I think that that People Magazine or just now that article about how their relationship really blossomed while they were in quarantine and they were seg- you know separated from the rest of the world. That makes total sense to me because you know it's hard to tell how people are with all their friends or how people are out in public or you know whatever when you're secluded for so long. And that's not to say that like she's a problem or anything or she is like doing something wrong out in public but she does have a very specific kind of life and he you have to wasn't subjected to it all at at once you know what I mean it's either you're you get it or you don't exactly and I think over time it's I'm sure that it's stressful like I'm trying to tell the line here and not talk shit about Joe because I feel (laughs) like you know what I mean like yeah I'm not trying to talk shit about him because I I think it's fine I like him Taylor hasn't like you know set us on him just yet she's not talking shit so why would we talk shit nothings with him like that's my thing it's like so many (laughs) songs but you know what though she also put out peace and peace is basically yeah. all about like, there will ha- would it be, be enough if I could never give you peace? Yeah. Like it's, it, there's too much going on in her life. There's too much unrest and, and you know, until she's at some old age, like, I don't think that, I don't think that she can just hide away from this. Although at the fl- on the flip side, TikTok of course is running rampant with rumors about, um, one, she, they bought a house in England already and you know, I know the realtor that helped them close on the house. That's mm. number one. And Joe's been there, whatever. Number two is that they've gotten married in Europe already. Right, that like they're they like did some kind married. of ceremony. Maybe it's not like an official marriage, but they did like a ceremony of some sort. And, yeah, and I think Paige- people were there and there was a, I know the wedding planner that was there. You know what I mean? Like I'm seeing people, like, secondhand information, quote unquote, about all these things. Like Demois type shit. Exactly. Yeah. But then I think page six like confirmed that they didn't get married. Yeah. That's what a lot of people are confirming, like both ways. Like Dumas mm-hmm. is confirming that they did get married. So well, I'm Dumas like, Dumas is, is not fake right about anything. That's what I'm Dumas, saying. Dumas but who knows? Oh, ass. that's what else I wanted to talk about. We'll go back to it. But uh, did we talk about Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet? Oh, no, we haven't. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, um, because speaking of Dumas, but anyway, so that's all going on with Taylor right now. Um, in the midst of all this, so this news breaks on Saturday evening, uh, April. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, April eighth. <laughs> A day that will live in infamy. <laughs> and so uh, so the news breaks on the 8th. We see her out and about New York City. 
La- Monday. Uh, Monday night, Monday, the, April 10th, April 10th. She's out and about at, after Via, Corona. at Via Corona, which is yeah. a, a, a place all the celebrities frequent. Yeah. A place I never thought I'd see Taylor Swift. No, be never. No. Like, never. And um, she's with Jack Antonoff. I think other people were there too. I'm not yeah. sure. I only saw fucking, you know, his Coke bottle glasses yeah, in the yeah. background of the photo. So <laughs> that's I, just him for now. And um, I'm curious as to what she's up to. Because why was she seen? Why was she seen? Because and people were saying this. Uh, this was an original thought, but I agree with it that Taylor doesn't isn't seen unless she wants to be seen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's strutting around the West Village with her little uh, butterfly jeans, yeah, and her Y2K bag, her little bitch boy and her little, off. <laughs> right, and her little like pseudo. Uh, I saw a girl compare uh, her off the shoulder top to like a revenge top because it kind of looked like the top of uh, Princess Diana's dress, like dress when she got divorced from Charles and also looks like the top that Sandy wears in Greece. Oh, and I was funny. like, 100 percent. That's exactly like whenever I see those off the shoulder type black like that little whatever, I think of Sandy every time. And so, yeah. And so, I mean, who knows what that's all meaning? But she she's always sending a message. She always means something. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm and curious as to what that's about. People saw the butterflies and equated that. People think Speak Now. To Speak Now. Yeah, people yeah. are thinking Speak Now is coming. Everyone but just thinks Speak, speak Now, now came out later than like Y2K, though. You know what I mean? Like now Speak people, Now came out in like 2009? 2010, I think, yeah. was, was Speak Now. But then other people are like, well, that means it's debut album because it's, you know, Y2K stuff. And that came out in the two th- earlier 2000s. Like I'm whatever. I'm smart enough. I don't know. I think that it is interesting. I don't know if she's trying to make a statement like, hey, look, I'm fine. Everything's cool. Mm-hmm. Or if she's like, mm, people are running rampant with these fucking rumors and I nev- I haven't said anything. Let them go crazy mm-hmm. and see what happens. She also was just in Liverpool shooting a video. We don't know what video. People are guessing vigilante shit. And uh, Joey King and yeah, Taylor, Lautner. Taylor Lautner were both there. Oh, yeah. Come apparently. On, apparently. Joey apparently. King. apparently. I know I Joey King. I know. Also, Taylor, not Lautner. What are we talking about? I know, right? That's why I'm like, what's happening here? Are we bringing all our exes back? Yeah, like, what's what? happening? Like, I am so curious about what that's about. But I have a feeling that, again, she's she let herself be in the news. She let herself be seen in multiple locations, multiple doing multiple things. Something's coming soon. And that's all I'll say. Something is coming soon. It so, has to. I saw someone say, though, they were like, maybe this is why she put in the one. Oh, my God. That's right. Yes. So, OK, so on the tour, which I'm also devastated about. I can't even like think about Invisible String right now because no. it's oh my like God, the no. most romantic, like such a romantic song that I love and sing and cry to when I like dream of the future. Mm-hmm. And I uh, on her set list tour, she changed out Invisible String for the song The One. Invisible String being a song about uh, that is about Joe. And it's also about like. You know, isn't it just so pretty to think that all along there was some invisible string tying you to me? Like this Mm -hmm. fate idea. Meanwhile, the one is a song about lost love. It's a song about like, wouldn't it wouldn't it be nice if you were the one? That's basically that's the lyrics, you know? And um the one makes me cry. That's another song that like makes me sad. The one cardigan, like the that top half of uh, of Evermore really makes me cry. But so um I think that it's all interesting. It's all something to keep our, one. yeah. If you would have been, been the one, one in my defense, I had none. Oh, I could sing it all day long. Or, but so uh, I, I just think that um, th- there's more to this. There's other stuff going on. I'm so curious. I was made a video the other day that said I wouldn't believe that this breakup happened until I hear it from Taylor's mouth or from Tree Payne herself. Um, and we'll see. So I don't know. I don't want to be the crazy bitch in denial, but it does seem fucking nuts. <laughs> I can't believe she was spotted at Vita Crota. Like I really can't. Like, I really cannot. That's it's like so is, insane to me. That is that's like so accessible. You know what I mean? Like that's so just like accessible. oh my god, she's at a restaurant that I like. I've been. I was at uh, two months ago. You know, like, she's that's at a restaurant crazy. that every celebrity everyone goes goes to. to ever. And and to be honest, like Vita Crota is good, but it's not that fucking good. I've like never it's not so like <laughs> it's not like been. it's fine. It's it's delicious and it's a good spot. It's cute, whatever. But I'm shocked that it's become this like watering hole for celebrities. Like, I could have seen her because right next to is Maurice Crisis. Mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. and i could have seen her which is like a famous like sultry new york singer bar i could see yeah. her like stumbling out of there oh for sure rather than 100%. going to like an upscale dinner at like a, a, we're a place that people know people go to to see celebrities like mm-hmm. it's a place where like dumas posts about via Corota every fucking weekend and Literally. whoever was there sarah jessica parker's always there meryl Cohen, streep, i think meryl streep like everybody is always there so it's interesting it's also um right around the corner from cornelia street 
Yeah. Interesting. So I'm wondering what she's People doing. People like laying flowers down at her Cornell Street apartment as if she died. Dude. When she hasn't even lived there in like four crazy. years. Yeah. That's so crazy. Weird. I didn't see that. Oh my God. Okay. That's another thing too. It's like, we Chill. get it. We, we ride for our girl all day long, <laughs> yeah. but we need to get a fucking grip, She also okay? doesn't live there anymore. <laughs> right. She doesn't live there anymore. Don't leave, don't leave death flowers at, on Cornelia Street. Also, okay? is Cornelia Street about Joe? No. Yeah. People oh. are, uh, mm, yes. But I'm I don't pretty know if she's sure ever, it is. Has she confirmed that? No, I always thought there were rumors that it was like about Carly Claus. Well, yeah, people think that, but <laughs> yeah, but I'm I've never heard sure her say it like it's about Joe. It would make sense if it were yeah. about right because he came out in 2019. Yeah, it would make total sense if, yeah. if it were about him. There are so many songs. Looks about like him. she won't be walking Cornell Street again. I know. There are so many, uh, Damn. Yeah. so many songs about Joe. It's actually yeah. shocking. Like I, I was, know, I was sad. trying to go through them. I might like write a blog about like all the songs I can't listen to anymore because they're broken up. And it's like it's half of reputation it's basically all, all of folk, lover all of lover so much of folklore half of evermore like it's just yeah. so she, she they were so influenced you know people Six are years. saying now that they think midnight's is a breakup album i mean it could because like if you go back and listen to glitch rain is and like song. a couple maroon mm -hmm. midnight rain like they're oh, all there's like midnight yeah. rain big time I, breakup vibes I, midnight rain i just saw a tiktok about mm -hmm. her and joe like comparing it to midnight rain and it's Quite accurate. It's very accurate. Yeah, I thought that when when it came out, and I thought to myself, like, are some of these scrapped songs that where she's like making up stories and characters and stuff? Like, yeah. Once she did folklore evermore and started making up stories and characters, I kind of now think of, I don't immediately think they're about people. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Think like, okay, they could be, but also, are they fake? Like, you yeah. know, whatever. So I'm not even, I'm not even sure. But we're, you know, we've got our pulse on the situation. We're we will give minute by minute updates as we <laughs> get them, and you know, we will just have to see. Um. Also, in Taylor Swift news, uh, we need to break out our torches and pitchforks because uh, Nick Cannon must be stopped. Yeah. Officially, he needs to get a fucking grip. Speaking of someone who needs to chill out, like I have talked shit about him on this podcast before. We've had clips about it. We've talked about it at length. Nick Cannon is addicted to getting women pregnant and it's starting to get creepy it's and weird. it feels bizarre. It's weird when he like calls them out. He's like, I want... To, that's to what's that's what's weird about yeah. it like if you want to be if you want to be like weird and creepy on the side and get all these bitches pregnant and have like you know six baby mamas and like whatever that's all fine like that's your business sure when you go on uh howard stern and say oh yeah i'd love to like have my 13th kid with taylor swift like basically i'd love yeah. to get her pregnant like that's that to me is it leaves a bad taste in my mouth like even if he is joking around with howard stern or whatever like I, it's obviously a joke of, like, he is a joke right now because all he does is get bitches pregnant. Hmm. And he was complimentary of Taylor, but it's, like, creepy as fuck yeah. to even say that and weird. And as far as I know, she doesn't know him, and they're not, like, friends in the industry or anything. So, like, imagine you're, like, walking down and someone, some creeper who literally cannot stop getting bitches pregnant says, ooh, I, you're next. Like, yeah, what that's the so fuck? weird. It's like a so target weird. on your back. Right, it's just weird, and, like, I don't know. I do not like it. I think that he has, like... I think he's unwell. Like, there's something weird going on here. Well, the whole thing, him. I've heard rumors that, like, he, I've heard two different rumors, and I don't know which is true or not, that one of the reasons that he's doing this whole, like, pregnancy, whatever, is because he has lupus. And so, okay. like, the more children he has, like, it's like a genetic bank of, like, if he needs, like, blood transfusions and stuff. That would I've be heard that's, fucking crazy. I've heard that's one reason. Is lupus so hereditary? Kids. I have no idea. I have no idea. Because I mean, that would I know be doubly Selena selfish. Gomez has it. I, yeah, well, right, we, all, we all know that. Yeah, and then the other reason I've heard is because um, whatever, whatever weird mega church. genetics and environment it says. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And then okay. I've also heard whatever weird genetic church or not genetic, weird mega celebrity church he's a part of is one of those where it's like go forth and multiply. repopulate the earth. That's that's more what I what I had heard. I could see that. I the lupus the thing gives me like my sister's keeper vibes. A hundred percent, which is weird. That's yeah. that's even weirder. If that were if that were the case, I'd be like, that's I don't know. I, it's like, I hate that. I don't know if you need like a baker's dozen worth uh, of kids for I that. know. It like makes me sick really to think about someone having that many children. Like I don't know why it's making me feel icky, but it makes me feel like he also has like eight women or something crazy. Six. Six, six different yeah, women. Like, Mariah Carey being one of them, never forget. But I think that it's like it's obviously narcissistic. Like, it's obviously he he likes to spread his seed. He likes to, you know, have more of himself around. It's just, like, uh, something makes me feel icky about someone having 12 to 13 children. Like, that yeah. just is, I don't know. And then we read the thing around Christmas about how he, like, busted his ass all Christmas Day to, like, see all, all 12 kids or yeah. all 11 kids, whatever it was. And that, to me, is, like, 
I, as much as you want to be like, I'm a good father to these people, whatever, you're spread too thin. Like you, mm-hmm. at that point, you can't take care of children. Like you can't be there for children when there are that many. You know what I mean? Like, right. the and they're not in the same with, house. Exactly. This, right. And they're not in the same house. The same thing happens with, with people with big families. Like my, I talk about it all the time with my mom. My mom is one of seven kids. And she said like, that was just too, fu- too many kids, mm-hmm. like way too many kids. They, you know, she didn't have an amazing relationship with her parents always. Like it was, you know, it was very much like everyone is on their own. Everyone's for themselves. And now imagine that, but double, like that's fucking crazy. And obviously it helps because there are so many women helping. All these Mm -hmm. different women are taking care of these children. So thank God for them. And he's a father and a mother. Exactly. Yeah. But it's just, I don't know. It's, it's very, uh, it makes me very uncomfortable. I'm very unsettled. And now that he's like casually making jokes about getting Taylor Swift pregnant, just like does not sit well with me. No, and I, feel, I just I, think he's a fucking weirdo. I and feel I like feel I like it's weird. Hiding. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I just remembered something else I wanted to talk about. What? And I'm not sure if we should talk about it, but I think we can. I'm devastated. Uh, have you heard the news about Nicholas Braun? No. I have. What? He's maybe getting, maybe I, we'll decide at the end whether we cut this out or not because I getting, can't tell if we're perpetuating this this like rumor or if it's for real for real. He's a predator. He's like, <gasps> he's getting charged with like sex with minors. Right? He had yes, he had sex with a sixteen year old at Coachella when he was twenty four. Are you serious? A girl made a yeah. video about it, being like, I was and had pictures of her like on his shoulders and like hanging out with him, and she was like, he invited me back to my hotel, and I said no, I'm I'm in high school, and he like didn't care, gave him her number anyway, and then he ended up same day having sex with one of her friends who was also in high school, and this is you wait, know, I haven't seen anything about. I saw it. Well, one it's, thing it's about it. It's getting buried. Like it was happening on Saturday, I think. I saw it like right yesterday. Be- I saw it more yesterday because when six or uh, no, I saw it on. Um, I was seeing it on Sunday because it was she put this video out right before, like earlier in the day. I think either late on Saturday or early Sunday. Okay. Because I saw it before Succession, before the episode came mm-hmm. out, and so I was like, "Oh fuck!" And so um, this girl put this video out. She said had pictures, receipts, and said all the shit. And um, I I have I'm at a loss of words. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to say to that. I don't know if that's like, it doesn't seem, she's not lying. She's no. pictures with him. She, why would she lie? It happened in 2013. So we did the math. And um, yeah. So apparently hmm. he's. And it's then always like. People are, and the people are, you know, of course now everybody's coming out of the woodwork with stories about how he's a creep and how he's always preying on like younger girls raised. and like small girls right. and like whatever. I mean, and honestly. It doesn't shock me. It doesn't. I, I don't know if it, if it's that it doesn't shock me. I, I think it shocks me. I think it shocks me because it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know. I, I hate how how pro Nicholas Braun I've been. Like, now I'm like, fuck. Like, I, I look like an asshole. I'm sick of, like, misreading people. Like, I feel like I always had a good read on everybody around me and what was going on. And, like, is everyone a piece of shit? Like, is everyone in this yeah. world a real piece of shit? And it's fucking crazy. But so, I don't know, this girl, yeah, she made the video on TikTok. It's still up. You know, it's still there. It's going around on Twitter. But it is kind of being stuffed down. Yeah. Like, it's, I can tell, it's, everybody that I've talked to about it has had no idea about it. So, I'm like, wow, this is kind of crazy. So, that's kind of why I'm like, you know, am I, am I going to, I don't want to, like, blow this up. But maybe we, maybe we leave it in, but we don't make a clip of it. Right. For now. Um, yeah. And then later on, we can go back. There was but a- I do want this information to be known because I can't, like, see this info and not say anything when I'm sitting here, sc- like, screaming about how bad I want to date Nicholas Braun. Like, I that's know. fucking crazy. That reminds me of the Jonathan, when that stuff about Jonathan Majors came out. Oh, my God. That's but right. That was also crazy. I, I know. I didn't read that. any. I haven't, like, looked into it at no, all I don't since, really like, know the that story, headline stuff came out. So I don't know. So like, I don't like, want to like talk like, about it because like he's abusive, right? That's his. That's something the line. about like, like him like strangled a woman. Yeah, it's like, like I don't know. Apparently, like he's the one that called the. Uh, I don't know. I it's don't a know. lot of right. It's a, yeah. there's, there's so much discourse online that it is. It's hard to figure it's out. Like, hard what's real, to what's figure fake. out what's. However, we can't get into the line of like I don't believe this bitch. Right. Or, you know, telling this story because why would she like I don't know. Right. I, I always try to believe the woman. Same. Mm-hmm. You have to. Yeah, you have to, especially if like. At first, you know what I mean? Right. Like, why, why would anybody Until lie about like, this? Why would someone yeah. make this up? Like, mm-hmm. and, you know, people argue, like, oh, well, they're a celebrity, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no, I don't think, but like, people aren't don't... trying to, like, blackmail people. Like, they're not trying to get money out of it. They're I not know. trying to get attention. They're not trying to, like, you don't tell stories like that Especially for attention. With, yeah, totally. And maybe, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> it's a fucked up situation. It's a, there's it's a thin line. Isn't that fucking crazy? So I, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping, like, I hope. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about it. I don't want to say, like, I hope that it's not true or I hope that, like, there's an explanation, but I can't imagine. Like, 
I just can't imagine that's that there a hard is. one to like lie about like yeah. to like get yourself out of mm-hmm. no. so I saw something I too know. that like every girl that goes to Ray's like oh yeah well I made that joke on this show I was like I just can't be another he always is everybody knows that like yeah. he always is picking up girls at Ray's and right. they said there's like a back booth that mm-hmm. like VIPs and regulars like him mm-hmm. go to mm-hmm. and it's like they bring in like girls exactly can I say this though while I was reading this information I was like damn because everybody was talking about how he only ever is like trying to hook up with like very early 20s sometimes late teens like petite brunettes and whatever and I was like damn who's never gonna love me in the first place (laughs) (laughs) I'm like old and tall and like not even close so I was like all right fine like don't be I I shouldn't be so upset that he never hit on me also I have to remember like he may be a predator so let's think about it like that you dodged a bullet Kelly seems like it Mm -hmm. seems like it so again I don't fucking know but that's another story that we will be keeping track of and developing and um that's uh that's the two creeps of this episode Nick Cannon and Nicholas Braun it's the Knicks it's the Knicks. Wow. If your name is Nick, you're on notice. Yeah. Um, but that leads us perfectly. Hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I would never even never even joke or wish that. It's like, what a fucking crazy, like. That's so gross. I just don't even know. I, I have, I'm, it's rare that I am at a loss of words for something like this. I'm at a loss of words for this one. I have yeah. no idea what to even say. It's fucking crazy. Ugh. Gross. Makes my skin crawl. A lot of skin crawling today. Especially but like, that does, oh. G and I are 24. Like, that's what I'm saying. Imagine you it's have sex with a so 16 year old boy right now. That's I, fucking oh, sick. That's I, disgusting. That's, that actually like kind of made me no, just want to throw no, up. No, literally. Bit. It's I. I don't know how. <laughs> I. I really don't know what goes Ew. through. Like that. That's a sickness of people, right? Like how do you ever? I don't even know. Even like like I'm 32. If even if like an 18 year old guy was hitting on me trying to hook up with me, I'd be mm. like, you're a fucking child. Like, if you're a, a baby. If a, if a 21 year, one year old, old child. right? I'm so 24 saying, like, of a 21 year old. I only is, just, like, I only yeah. just recently said like, Josh Richards is hot, but I'm like, oh, he's hot like over there. You know what yeah. I mean? Like <laughs> over there, cute. And like, he's too young. So if, you're, if your name is Nick, you're on notice, like I said. And uh, that Nick does, Watts. that does bring us out, but not Nick Watts, no. Yeah. Uh, but that <laughs> does bring us to uh the next topic which is the succession finale oh. or not finale why do i keep saying finale it's logan's finale it's logan's finale well spoiler alert fuck <laughs> i was like shit. wait 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 wait. cut all that part out because i didn't get to do the spoiler oh, okay yeah. it brings us to our next topic which is succession the latest episode that happened this week there there's about to be spoilers don't <laughs> there's about fucking to be spoilers. listen skip through i don't know how long i'm gonna talk about this probably at least five to ten minutes and i'm sorry if you haven't watched it it's kind of fucking crazy if you haven't this is appointment tv this is like game of thrones if this you is didn't see it you're screwed it's hbo it, on especially sundays especially this episode especially this episode okay so goodbye goodbye i'm about to say it logan roy is dead rest in peace <laughs> rest in peace uh, like rest in peace question mark i don't know like that I episode so, was in the episode was so fucking insane so okay so obviously uh it is connor roy's wedding i it's, love connor i love i am he's so, so sad. especially this season he's he's, he's killing he's it. really killing it and alan the stuff ruck that he is says, gonna get an alan ruck this. is i hope i really hope he does i, I hope love him all of them get Emmys. i know how are they gonna get him because I feel like they're all going to be in the same category against each other. Well, you know Shiv- what I mean? Oh, Shiv um, will get Sarah it. Snook is... Sarah Snook is... Goodbye, Dan. Yeah, forget it. Don't even show up no. if, if you're a female, to be honest. Sarah Snook just ran, it's like, ran but, like, it out think the about fucking it. It'll building. It'll be like her and like Bella Ramsey up against each other, probably. Oh, my God. Like, right? Right? But it's... But it's I'm, I'm sorry. It's Sarah Snook. Like, she... Yeah. I've never seen... I've never felt so emotional watching... A, a like, TV watching death. a TV show and, a, and, and like a death unfold and I was so uncomfortable like I was supposed to be I was on edge I didn't believe that it was happening Mm -hmm. like me neither we were talking about it downstairs before and uh I think Dan said that it's like Dan Katz yes oh yeah oh yeah yeah. no big cat came over to chit chat about (laughs) succession he was like he literally pulled up a chair I was like let's talk I was like okay and so we were talking about but he said that um they made you feel like how the kids felt Yes. And whereas like, is our dad even really dead? Like what's going on? How do we act? Whatever. The like broken this is phone. crazy. Right. The broken phone. Like there were so many elements to it and to their performance that were, they just, it really pulled feelings out of you. And I, you know, you guys know I'm a sucker for a show that makes you feel. Mm-hmm. And that is like, it was another level. I watched it at, I was home for Easter. I watched it with my parents. So that I think also, I was like crying. It like made me kind of emotional. It was so realistic was, like, to, to like how death is in the, it's not completely. This, it wasn't this like, 
Oh, totally, he's dead. Totally. And so I read a, I read an article that came out from the New Yorker. Shout out to my old my alma mater. And uh, they wrote an article about it saying, or interviewing Jesse Armstrong mm-hmm. and uh, man. so smart, interviewing him. And he said that they like Logan always was going to have to die at some point because it is succession and right. he, he's never going to give it up if he's still alive, whatever. He was always going to die. They decided to do it quickly rather than later because that's just how death goes sometimes. Sometimes people die unexpectedly and sometimes yeah. it is just like that. Sometimes he's in the bathroom of a fucking airplane and when he should have been at his son's wedding. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they were all, t- I think that too sends what a, such a message. Did you see that tweet where it was like, he, no. it's like, it is in such Logan Roy fashion that he could have been surrounded by his whole family and mm-hmm. everyone he loves when mm-hmm. he died and he was on a fucking private plane. Toilet. On a private plane to go do business with people in the background. His body's not even cold yet. They're break, you know, writing up his press release right. about what's going to happen because right. they're worried about the, uh, the stock, stock market. And I, I, it's just, that it's ruthless. Carolina. That bitch Carolina. But I mean, she, she's right though. Like and she's it's correct. Job. It's her job. And that's what like, People and there are people in the real world that are like that. Like, imagine if, uh, imagine Mark Zuckerberg he passes away or something, Suddenly, some yeah. Jeff oh, Bezos, yeah. something like that. Rupert Someone's Murdoch, so, Rupert, right? Exactly. Like, like, some massive titan of industry passes away where so many people's jobs and lives and finances are tied up in it. And mm-hmm. it's like, you can't just, it's a, you, it's a delicate dance. It's a way to go about it because people panic, people freak out, and it's crazy that you have to put aside the grief and the sadness and the severity of the situation to think about business. But that's how this man lived his life. That's yeah. how, you know, what he that's wanted. how his family conducted. It probably is what he would have wanted. Yeah. Like if it were reverse, like say Kendall died or, or you know, uh, Shiv Roman or died or yeah. Shiv or anybody, whatever. I bet Logan's first, like he'd be, he'd be upset, but I bet he'd immediately talk business and like nothing else. Mm-hmm. And that to me is sad. And it's like, what an existence, you know? Like that's just, that's how they live their whole lives. And when uh, when Tom is on the phone. He could not have done better. He did such a good job. And you could tell he was hurt. Like he, he was hurting yeah. too. Because then he calls and, Greg and is like, I'm not okay. Right, yeah. He's like, yeah, dude, I'm not all right. Like he made some jokes or whatever. But he was like, yeah, it was pretty grim. Like, I don't know. But him calling and like putting his, you know, the phone next to his Logan's ear. ear and everything. That's all that. But then also um, all the kids talking to him really got me. And I was beside myself when Shiv took the phone. Oh, my God. And Shiv is like, Daddy, don't die. Like, it's not time, whatever. And it's just like, oh, whenever you see like a a strong, like it's male characters too, not just female characters. But I feel like whenever I see like a, because I'm kind of like this. I'm a closed off person. I'm very Mm -hmm. like hard shell, tough exterior, trying Mm -hmm. to look like a tough guy, whatever. Mm -hmm. But of course, everybody has emotions. Everyone feels like when your fucking parents die, like that's horrible. Unexpected. Right. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly and whatever. But to watch her walls break down and her kind of revert to that like child, child. like daddy, like, you know, it's just, that's heartbreaking. You can't go, you, yeah. Oh, I could, literally could cry again. Like it just was so, like, it was I can't so have, moving. Like, when they walk in and they're like, they think dad's going to go, I can't have that as if like. Yeah, like I can't of- have this right now. Right. Like, what are you talking about? Like right. that's not, this is not happening. And then when Kendall Awful. came and grabbed her and he was like, shivy honey. No, no, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. When they start oh. talking, like, when they're, like, they're kids. Yeah, and, and it's then she's just, like, is it mom? Like, right. they want it to be the mom. Oh, my God. When she said later, though, when she was she like, like, I think I, I said mom because I kind of hoped it was mom. I was like, oh. fuck, because she has that bad relationship with her mother. You Which, know? her mom's a bitch. Her mom is a bitch, right? And I don't blame her. But, like, oh. I'm, I'm excited for her to come back for the funeral. I know, right? That's going to be something. But, um, but so that was all so nuts. Also, to... Um, Connor's reaction, Alan Ruck being like, "Oh, he never, he never he liked never me. me." And he's like, "I'm, he and does, I don't mean that." Like, yeah, he yeah. Me. And then he's immediately like, he's like, "I don't know what I'm saying. I don't mean that." He's whatever, like, I just didn't but, have a chance to make him proud of me. Right, like, devastating. And, and then, then like, yeah, wh- everybody else, like everyone, like every single person mm-hmm. crushed it. Every person crushed it. And then the security guard, Colin. Oh my God, the fr- his only friend like lost on the tarmac. Fucking devastating. Like and crying the, like, tears. Like, like, Carrie being like, that's fucking crazy. I'm like, Carrie, You're is, Carrie is, lo- is low key me. I will say this. Like, she, I, that's like, fucking crazy, I mean, right? So she, her reaction she coming in and like girlfriend. laughing or whatever, that I think is, if I were in that situation, I think I'd be like, like, well, this is fucking crazy. Boyfriend, boss. Right. I think I would freak guys. out like that. Like, they were making fun of her. I love how they like called her Chuckles the Clown. They're like, this bitch, like, doesn't <laughs> so know so how to grieve. Like, ball, she doesn't know how to Yankee deliver studio. news. Right. It was a callback to like, she doesn't know how to deliver news. She doesn't know how to grieve, whatever. And I think that's, it was hilarious. And also sad and like kind of relatable. Like I, I'm weird about grief. I'm weird about stuff like right. that. So I was like, damn, I, I get it. Like that's so bizarre. 
but I think that um, Connor getting married anyway was funny and, and sweet. And that conversation with, with Willa, Willa. I, I love her. love Willa. I've always she loved her, too. She is so great. She's and just, she's like, never down, done you know? anything wrong. No, she's down. She, I think that she really does love Connor. I think that she loves him and she's a like, lot. And she's like, and well, there is a part of the money that's Of course. Like, she's here. like, oh, he's, I have this money, and I want to be rich, whatever. But I think that, I really think it's more than that. That, yeah. like you know what I mean like she cares for him and every time she I think hears she feels bad for him 100% yeah. every time she hears a story about the him cake. with the with the cake oh my god so there's a part where he's they're talking about Connor freaks out about the cake the wedding cake and apparently it was like the same kind of cake the that Victoria they gave sponge him cake. yeah Victoria sponge that they gave him when his mother like had to go away to a mental hospital and mm. he like you know ate the cake for a week straight and mm. was just like comatose about it and whatever and now this cake is the same like, I saw the it's sweet just such words, a deep, like, like sadness, you know, like right. it's like his dad dies and his mother sent away and he's eating the same cake. Right. Oh, like it's just it's. Oh, wow. What a so well done. Like then, all of it is so well done and it blows my mind. And she's like, well, I'm not leaving today. Like, right. Yeah. She, and then she right. She's like, well, I'm not going to leave. And she's like, well, not today. So she's right. still, like making a joke. And like, like I, I just, love Willa. I really I like her a lot. Gorgeous. Stunning. Stunningly beautiful. Obviously. Stunning. What else is she? She's in something she's else. She's in Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. She's the best friend in Marvelous oh, Mrs. Maisel. Oh, yes. OK. 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 Mm -hmm. That's how I, Every, that's why I, I think her. her name's Midge in it. Yes. Yeah, that's how Midge. I know her. OK. And she's great in that, too. Yeah. She's, she's really actress. funny. In that. Yeah, I, I like her a lot. Um, Like every single second of that show was like, like perfectly executed mm -hmm. in a way where I was like this is how like I would react completely like, and I think that that obviously that was like the intention but I think that it was it was just so well done it was so uh so well presented the moods the feelings all of it just a plus all around can't believe how good it is but things I'm looking forward to um the funeral funeral will be really good uh, the reading of the will that's gonna oh be incredible. I didn't think Whenever about that, that somebody said that downstairs that wasn't my original thought either but that's gonna be incredible. Yeah. Um, and I think figuring out finally who's gonna be in charge. Like, yeah. what's gonna happen? Are these people gonna re gonna like retreat in on themselves? I think that. Yeah. What's I your think theory? That, um, people are saying theories downstairs too, and I love all of them. So I'm just gonna list all of them. I forget I who think, said it, but not I don't all think of them, there's a bad way for the thoughts. show to end. Agreed. One theory is that Connor's gonna get sympathy votes for his like board. election or whatever, oh. and that it is actually gonna fuck up like. Uh, you know the election for whoever their for, person is that they want to yeah. win like he'll get whoever the republican five, candidate five percent instead yeah. of one percent and it'll fuck up whatever and they're gonna want him to drop out but he's not gonna do it like oh. that's people are saying that which i love that theory number one number two um i think that kendall will rise to the occasion and take over and do what he's supposed to do and i think that without his dad like looming over him he's really gonna thrive and i think that he it's i think it was like always a burden when he was telling his dad like on the phone you know he's dead whatever mm -hmm. but t telling him on the phone like i can't forgive you mm -hmm. i think that oh, he was that dead was serious so and i think that this is going to be a positive thing for kendall i think shiv is going to become really cold and closed off because i feel like that's just how i would act but i also think that um you know, she was like trying to be vulnerable around Tom. Tom's still wearing his wedding ring, weirdly. I thought for a second maybe that they'll like just get back together, but I thought that for a second. I don't know. Too. People downstairs think no way, but I'm not sure. I think that like, I think that they still love each other, and I think that the communication is their problem. And I think that yeah. Shiv is so mean to him, and oh, so like mean. obviously, and so I think that that is what keeps him at bay. But I think mm -hmm. if she just stops, like, puts down that wall and stops, like. Like, they all treat each other like shit, you know? Like, all the, the whole family treats each other like shit. That's how they, like, show love. Mm -hmm. And I think once she, like, gets past that, maybe it could work. But I really have no idea about that. And then I think Roman... Some people think Roman is going to step up and take over the whole thing yeah. with that's Jerry. My, that's my theory. And I think that he's going to do the exact opposite and spiral out with drugs and fucking bitches and, like, his his issue his issues like his like mommy issues and all of his weird like fetish stuff like i think that's all going to be a problem see i have like the exact opposite i think kendall's gonna kill himself someone else said that too someone thinks kendall might kill himself i think kendall might kill himself because if you see it in the poster did you mm -hmm. notice that the poster for the succession has plane oh yes i saw that and it's over kendall and then it's over kendall and then also kendall's right above the empire state building so someone thinks that he's gonna jump off the empire state building <sighs> That's Jesus. which would be crazy. crazy. They do show him. Well, remember, remember that time? Yeah. Yeah. When he when he when went he was up to the roof. Standing over by the vessel. He went like up to the roof apartment. of the. No, they went to the roof of the of um whatever it was called, the office or whatever. I thought it was in his apartment or whatever. Was where there wasn't. Where he was like looking. Where over. he was leaning over, and then mm -hmm. he went back up later, and they had added. They had put up the, the barrier. Yeah. 
I think he's gonna kill himself because I think he's he's mentioned it several times like I don't know who I would be like I don't know who I am without dad that's so like true. I do this all for dad and now like there's no one to really stop from that killing thing <laughs> getting no so true stuff. so true um so I think he might kill himself I it is think, a good theory yeah I, I hope he doesn't I, I hope he I doesn't like, because I, I I want it to be him rising to the occasion like I want him to be the good guy on at the end you yeah. know I feel so bad for him I feel like, so bad for him you're not supposed to feel bad for any of these people they're all scumbags I love all of them I know they're all terrible people I love I love them of too them. and like I, all, horrible. They I just, think they, they all just, have redeeming qualities. they're complex people they're complex Truly. people and they had a complex life and they got they had a fucked up emotionally abusive relationship with their mm-hmm. parents and that's not their here they, and they're rich and here they are you know what I mean they're a product of their environment unfortunately I think Shiv is gonna I, I think Shiv is either gonna go back with Tom mm-hmm. because like I think the opposite I think she's gonna because of how well Tom handle, handled that whole dying situation I think she's gonna see something in, like because when they were at Teterboro, Teterboro, she was like hugging him. Yep. So I not even that they'll stay married, but I think they'll like keep hooking up, maybe like work it some out somehow. Weird like they'll have that kind of or or she might she might just like fall back into we're married now and right. they just never talk about it. Like, yeah, they might just never even address. it. I can it. like kind of see that happening. Yeah, and then I can also see her going back into her like political role. Totally. Not at I think that is. I think Waystar. she's definitely doing that. I think yeah. that that's like, going to be a part of it. I don't think she'll stay at Waystar. Because remember, she was taking uh, taking calls. Remember, she was like taking calls, right. trying to keep involved and whatever. Yeah, especially if, especially if she's not the one that takes over, which I don't see a world in which she is. Again, Me I don't either. know what the I also don't think happen. she's ever really wanted that. No, I think she wanted it because her dad, like, she wanted the she wanted, she wanted her dad Logan, to think that she can do it. Yeah, I don't so think she I actually think wants she's to do gonna, it. I think she's going to go back into like the political space. Yeah. And it's more stable than whatever totally. the fuck that, totally. whatever the fuck Waystar is. Mm-hmm. I think Roman's going to, I think Roman's going to, well, because he was like in cahoots with his dad before. Try, so true, true. I think him and Matson. I think, I think Roman just likes settling He's things. He's best positioned. Yes. I think he's he got the best relationships things. with everybody He doesn't left. like conflict. So I think he'll please Matson in some way mm-hmm. of like, what do you, like, what do you want just so we yeah. can be what done do with want, it? What do you want? What do you need? But also we, we're we forgetting doing? that PGN is also like in the background and they're oh, like, yeah. yeah, we'll pay $10 billion for it. So it's like what's like what is gonna happen there and then i think i think tom i don't like i don't know or tom could take over because like he was people best say in line when people he say died. it could be him and then i don't know what's gonna happen with greg i think greg is just gonna be greg and i think greg is just greg yeah no i don't think he's in, he's obviously not involved but i and think then, that um that tom people were saying downstairs that tom is on the uh, uh he's like the furthest away from it technically like he he's not is he's family. like they're getting separated he's not mm-hmm. in the family yes he was with logan on the plane but that doesn't mean anything like he's not really that involved in the business side of things and whatever so they think that like that would be a good upswing for him like just for him to end up at well, the top yeah. uh, i don't know there's there's so many pieces to it and i could honestly i could talk about it all day like I, i'm so interested in this show it's i think it's so well written so if you're not into it or you haven't like paid attention to it i highly recommend it it's mm-hmm. it's digestible too like it's only at, what's this the fifth season fourth fourth and this is the last one so there's i only... finished it last season as season three started and i caught up in time to finish season three. right 100 percent. you could definitely catch up i think there's only like eight or ten episodes per season totally like digestible and they are um they're good like they keep it moving like they are mm-hmm. you know they're excellent and if you like happen to be like smart and no business and be in the business world oh, you'll yeah. get it i'm sure you'll love it even more I for do. sure for sure like i have to like, call my dad after every shit. episode to be like what does he mean when yeah. he's saying all this? i'm always googling stuff after yeah. like i'm always so curious about like you know makes me think a lot about mergers and acquisitions that i never thought about before mm-hmm. so it's just interesting stuff and I, uh it's amazing i just don't know i don't know how Matson will take all of this. I also feel like Stewie's gonna come back in a weird way. He's, I'm sure he's gonna show back. He's up. gonna say something or do something. You know what something. we have to keep our eyes on is the uh, are the opening credits because yes, I never I saw that attention. They've been, they've been changing. They, stuff. Well, they no, they changed the opening credits, the the visuals, mm-hmm. but also the names are a giveaway of who's in every episode. Oh, and I feel okay. like obviously I see the beginning, I see all the stars, but then towards the end they start showing like like um, whoever's guesting. When Alexander Skarsgård was gonna be in that episode, mm-hmm. they had his name up there, I and I was like, oh yeah, Skarsgård. duh. And me too. I forgot too. Like I always forget. I like, saw that and I was like, oh, interesting new character. And then I was like, oh yeah, fucking duh. He's like, he was a huge part of last season. Like he just doesn't I'm kind look of like over that, that storyline to be honest. Like the I am storyline. I low key am too because it's just not something that digests in my brain it's very just well. Taking so long because I'm, I'm just like, like I don't un- like I. It's one of those things where it's like I do not get the business world enough mm-hmm. to like understand how important this is. Agreed. Or, like it just doesn't add up to me. Yeah. So I'm like, um, okay, like right. Uh, 
It's like, what are we doing here? I don't know. But I, I appreciate yeah. him as an actor. I think he's like I an think amazing he slays actor. It, yeah. He, yeah, he is he's really good at it. And he's good at playing like kind of a shitty like a guy. Dickhead. Yeah, yeah. like a dickhead. Like, t- just like a casual bag. dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, where he's yeah. like, I wear North Face in Patagonia. Like, exactly. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. He's um, whatever. Also, real quick, um, how about the fact that they were to fucking fire Jerry? Oh my god, that was so insane. That was so That's insane. So rude. She's and how, been and how through fucked the up fucking ringer for I know. you. I love her. Like, she didn't react quick enough. I loved her response oh. where she said, "Like I, I tap dance through raindrops without getting wet." Yeah, like, I tapped. The fuck? I tap dance us through without understanding without getting wet. Yes, like, yes, good yes. for you. I also saw her in Trader Joe's a couple weeks ago. Oh my god, you did? Yeah, we were walking the same mile. Whoa, that's huge. Her and her daughters. She, it was she so had a cool. really funny tweet. I, I saw I that she's like, I'm her. in shock and I was there. Yeah, she her tweet was literally like, I'm still in shock and I was there. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, but yes, I saw her. Yes. I saw her at the Soho Trader Joe's and I was like, oh my God, it's Jerry. You if you that's didn't so watch crazy. if you don't watch Succession, you would have never known. Oh no. I still I am so bad at recognizing celebrities on the street. Like I have a really hard time with it because I just don't expect them to be there. Right. No. And so if I see them and I look directly in their face and it's someone like very noticeable, mm-hmm. it's like, oh yeah, like I saw um Darren Chris on the street one time and I recognized <gasps> I him right away and I was surprised that I even recognized him because usually like you know he's yeah. famous but I, I think I had just been watching like uh like Glee or American Horror Story or something mm-hmm. that he was in and, like, hey. and I just saw and I was like oh my god you're I right here like I just saw someone famous like, and so it. so random but like um but yeah I saw her I also well I saw Leo did I tell you that I looked DiCaprio in, DiCaprio I, we looked in each other's eyes when that was the craziest thing that ever happened to me. recently so, no years ago With maybe maybe, maybe four years ago or so and nah, probably longer than that at this point. So I was at my, I was working at the New Yorker still. So a long time now. Okay, long so time it's now. like six, six years. Wow. Kill me. Literally kill me right now. <laughs> and so, okay. I was at, um, I was working down at One World Trade and they opened up the new Eataly down there. Mm-hmm. And my work friends and I were going for dinner and we were going on the up escalator and he was coming down with a personal pizza and a hat on <laughs> And I was like yucking up with my friends and I glanced over and we and he was here and I was going up and we looked at each other, locked eyes. And and I was like, and then I just kept going and I turned around and he, of course, you know, stayed. He didn't like actually look at me, really. He just kind of glanced over and we glanced at the same time. And at the top of the stairs, I was like, that was Leonardo DiCaprio. And oh then at the top of the stairs, everyone was like, oh, did you just see Leo? Did you just yeah. see Leo? And I was like, holy fucking shit. Yes, I locked eyes with Leonardo DiCaprio. This is fucking insane. That's crazy. So that was crazy. And then one time on the Upper West Side at one of my favorite restaurants, Osteria Cota, highly recommend, really good um, Italian restaurant. I saw Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep was there. Oh my God. And we were we were like finishing up our dessert and we had already been there for like two hours. Like we were just like having a long ass dinner. And... Um, I looked over and there was like a little section. They were kind of like, like there, there are like um, curtains a little bit kind of around and they were like curtaining off like a little section. And I was like, oh, they must be having like a personal party or something. And then fucking Meryl Streep walked in. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I made us sit there for like 20 more minutes. I was like, Duh. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything to her, but I just wanted to like be in her presence. From her. Yeah. <laughs> for the minute I was like, that's my fellow, fellow Jersey girl. Like, love it. Yeah. Oh. I bumped into uh, uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Really? He was my question on the desk. Today. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Love he that. He was like right near our, well, your old neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, he was walking by. He was with an old woman. I guess it was his mom or something. Interesting. And But he was wearing an Indiana Hoosiers hat. So I was confused. Crazy. I was like, why? what's his connection to Hoosiers? He lives in Bloomington. What? Now. Is, he yeah. from Today? In- is he from Indiana? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to ask Bibbs. Isn't that know. crazy? He, he keeps a list of all the people from Indiana. Like I don't know if he's head. from Indiana because I looked it up like Jesse Eisenberg, Indiana, because Weird. I saw him and yeah, I tweeted yeah. and I was like, I don't know if I just saw Jesse Eisenberg or if it was just like a nerdy looking guy on the street. Right. And then I looked it up, Indiana, and I'm like pretty sure he either went there or why does Jesse Eisenberg love the Hoosiers? That's hilarious. He has a soft spot for Indiana and has been seen around the campus. Okay, so maybe he doesn't live there. But he <laughs> seen around the campus. He's just like creeping around the campus. He just like what? really likes Indiana. Interesting. Yeah. That's a weird. I'll have take. to ask. Like he's I'll wearing the Indiana hat in this it. video. Like whatever. But yeah. So it was a thousand percent him. Bizarre. But yeah, that was like my most recent celebrity run in. And I also saw Boban, Mary Jokif this oh, weekend. Like at the NDC. basketball player. Yeah. What? I the was basketball like basketball player. That's hilarious. Yeah. He Boban. was walking into this restaurant. Love him. This like um, it was Balkan restaurant they were eating at. Ooh, oh, well, makes sense. He walked in and the owner was like, Boba! <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, How bizarre. Yeah. It's so it's so crazy to like, it's so crazy seeing celebrities. I like, know, because you're like, oh. I thought about it too uh, when, when they were putting the reports out of Taylor Swift. I was like, if I, 
saw I her on the street. I the ambulance no, I really would. Up. I don't know what I would do. Like I could never. And then I, I started thinking, out and I wouldn't be able to remember it. Same. And then I started thinking more about like um, what I would do if I ran into her. And I, so I, yesterday when I was coming home, I took an Uber back from uh, Flemington and I was like, just really looking like shit. Like I didn't, I didn't anticipate staying as late as I did at my parents' house, and I didn't bring like any other clothes. I just brought like I like my Buda Ben sweatshirt mm -hmm. set, and I like worked sleep and was just gonna get in the Uber in the morning, and I ended up staying in the day. And so I was looking like fucking like just really gross. Like my hair was terrible. I looked ridiculous. And as I was like getting into my apartment and whatever, I saw the stuff about Taylor, and I thought to myself like, what if I was outside just now looking like this and I ran into Taylor Swift like looking how she does all the time or just <laughs> just in general I think I thought about this at length I don't think I would ask for a picture I think if I looked terrible no, I would be like I'd be too scared to ask for a picture I'd be too I'd be too scared mm -hmm. to ask for a picture but if I was in a place where it was like just the two of us I would obviously have or not even just two of us but like we were you know whatever mm. where speech was possible I think I'd be like oh my god I can't even express to you how big of a fan I am. I know. We have and I don't want this to be weird. Yeah, like, I don't want this to be weird. Like, I'm sure you get it all the time. Thank you so much for everything you do, whatever. And if she said something like, do you want a picture? Because I feel like celebrities do that sometimes because yeah. they know we're too nervous to ask. If she had asked me, I think I would say, no, I actually don't. But I have a feeling we'll meet again. And then I believe. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my feed. That's I've finally I like figured out what I'd say to Taylor practice, Swift. Like what I think I would say to her when I meet her. Same, same. But I know that I would just be like, uh, like no, right? Like, I, I would cry. Singing. I would cry. You know, did and you that's see what, the, it would suck so did bad because I would the cry. Video? Oh, I would bawl my eyes out. Yeah. I mean, I, I had this whole funny story that I was going to tell the Jonas Brothers about how when I ran into Kevin at Party City, blah, blah, blah. Oh, right. Funny. funny Amazing. Funny. And I get in there, and I just can't even say a word. They're looking me straight in my eyes, and I'm like, I love you guys. I've loved you guys for a long time. <laughs> and that's I've it. I took the picture, and, and I walked out and immediately started to cry. Of course. And I know that would happen with Taylor Swift. Did it's you see that video? Emotion. The video of her walking out of the restaurant, and the girl's like, hi, yes. I love your pants. Yes. I love your pants. And she's like, thanks. <laughs> that's literally what I would do, too. Yeah, like, pants. something just, like, so, like, stupid. Yeah. Your hair I looks really pants. nice today. Yeah. Your hair looks amazing. You're so beautiful. Yeah. yeah like, something about silly you is perfect. like that. Yeah, yeah. like. It just, it could go so many different ways, but I, I feel like I need to prepare those thoughts in my head ahead of time. Like, God forbid it happens. Cause if I don't prepare, like if I don't have a plan of action, like I don't know what I'll do. No, it's like, like I need it's to an have emergency. a plan of action. Right. I, cause otherwise I could get weird. Like I could screech. <laughs> like, what if I was screeching in the streets and like, like, you know, slurring my words and like, I can't spit yeah. something out. And like, I don't know, like. It could go so much worse if you I have, have a plan, plan for place. Harry Styles too, because I feel like I don't know if I would act appropriately around. Right, Harry it's hard. It's hard. Like I, 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 God forbid you're that girl who like went to go hug Justin Bieber and like kept kept kissing him. Like you saw that video, right, of that girl? She like went to go hug him and like kiss him on the cheek, and then just kept kissing him, and he was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like, that's, that's disgusting. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. But like people freak out when they see famous people. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I know. I mean, I do. Like I literally Same. freak out. I have it, no chill at all. I need no to find chill. chill. No One time my chill. dad met Obama at Mar in Martha's Vineyard. Not oh met, God. but like he was like walking by. Mm -hmm. And my dad loves Obama. And he walked by and he just went, Georgetown! <laughs> and he didn't even go to Georgetown. <laughs> my dad He's was just like, like, D.C. Yeah, area? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Like, I don't even know. We're like, dad, like, what the Shit. fuck? Like, why? He's like, I, I panic. I <laughs> George show that's like, insane yeah we're like okay yeah he like went to Harvard I'm pretty sure like, yeah, he definitely yeah, did so yeah at funny. least law school at I'm least. like now I know where I get it from just that is so spewing fucking funny. out random uh, shit whenever I see so someone funny. famous that shit happens man that yeah. shit happens I and don't know it haunts you for the rest of your life exactly I don't know um, <laughs> um okay George Ted <laughs> that's so funny that's I know really hilarious like you can totally picture him doing it too a hundred percent yeah your dad completely, completely. Like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> dude that's hilarious um <laughs> okay okay let's think so okay taylor swift's goddess uh succession episode was amazing yes also um new on tv that i think everybody should watch this is a i'm, I'm slapping a must watch on mm. this i always am saying to people like watch this watch this whatever put it all aside and watch this one like even watch it before succession like it's a quick watch whatever it's called beef mm. it's on netflix it has ali wong and steven yen and they are two people who are dealing with anger issues and also uh, internalized like depression and um, are having a hard time going through it. They interact with each other 
because they get into uh, like a road rage situation with each other. And then they move forward through uh, 10 episodes. Each one's 30 minutes. And it's how they've like, they end up like fucking each other's lives up like mm. significantly. And it is so interesting mm. and such like a, I would say it's, there are comedic points to it. It's yeah. dark comedy for sure, but more drama than anything. Um, and it's unbelievable. Yeah. And I don't want to say too much because it just came out on, on like this past Thursday. Yeah. I, I've, I I've only watched the first three episodes. Yeah. I didn't realize like. I saw people talking about it all over the place and I was like, oh my God, how did I miss the show? Mm. Like Ali Wong, I'm obsessed with her, which I am. Yeah. And um, I found out it only came out like literally two days yeah. ago. So mm -hmm. it's so I, I like the A24 show. Like usually they yes. don't do movies. I like that they. Oh, it's an A24? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm in. It's really good. It's also <laughs> too, they're, um, they're both Korean and there's a lot of like Asian cast members. And I will say that I think that shows that are, that are written by and include like an Asian cast, especially Korean specifically, I think are so much better than most American shows. Like it's not, it's not in Korean or anything, mm -hmm. but it gives me vibes of like, um, uh, what is the show? It's, it's like all my, hold on, let me think about it. It's a Korean show that is about these kids in a high school and it's like zombies and it's weird, whatever. It came out around the same time as squid game. Hmm. And, uh, hmm. But the way there's like deeper meanings without with or throughout it. And it also gives me like parasite vibes. Like, I don't know. It's something about it. You'll know it when you know what I'm saying when you see it, because it it's so well written and there's a lot of like culture involved in it, especially mm. Asian culture and how you're not supposed to show emotion and how you're supposed to take care of your family. And that's mm -hmm. like a, a running theme throughout the show. But I just think that um, even Ali Wong's movie, uh, Always Be My Maybe, I mm -hmm. think w had that same similar vibe of like, obviously like a primarily Asian cast, but also Asian writers and things. And I just think that the way things are written from that lens is so interesting to me. And I think it makes for some of the best TV of all time. Like it's so good. And they really explore a lot of like deep feelings through depression and anger and like um, wealth and poverty. And it's, it's an excellent show and I highly, highly recommend it. So everybody that watches it, let me know what you think because I'm really interested in that. Uh, last on the list, and then we'll wrap it up for the day, is uh, We're Famous Now. I don't know if you are aware. We yeah. are famous. Uh, we had one TikTok go very viral. <laughs> <laughs> and a reel. And yep. we're really famous now. And we're yeah. talking and about the Harry paparazzi Potter. are calling. And the paparazzi can't get enough of us. Yeah, they want us to move to LA. Yep, they do. They do. Um, <sighs> so yeah, the paparazzi are begging us to move to LA. Uh, Dave and Erica both personally called each of us and asked us to move to Chicago, said we cannot mm. get this office up and running without you girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're thinking about it. We're weighing our options at the moment. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we will see. But how fucking crazy is that? I've never had a video go, like, besides, like, plane breakup and whatever, like, all that other, like, viral shit. I have not had a TikTok or a reel get something like 3 million views mm. where it's not, like, on the bar stool. Mm. You know, it's this is it was on our On The Other Line TikTok yeah. and on on our On The Other Line reels. And I'm I'm proud of us. I don't yeah, know how that too. happened, me but too. I'm proud. And I, I know. think that it's amazing. It's crazy how, like, you just post a thing and then next thing you know, it you has... You never fucking know. Yeah. Right. I didn't even notice. I was in Boston for the weekend and I posted it at my hotel and then I, like, whatever, logged yeah. off. And then you were like, oh, my God, that TikTok. I, was, like, I didn't even see. I hadn't even, like, reposted it myself. I didn't even check. Like, I was busy. I, like, yeah, didn't check. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I don't know. Unbelievable. No. And so, I was like, what the fuck? Excellent posting, ex excellent clippage, Thanks. Mm. excellent, excellent talking. conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're all we're all great. We're all perfect. And I'm thrilled about it. It just so. it sucks that I don't like Harry Potter and I didn't even understand it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it hits with the Harry Potter crowd and everybody like it was such well, a. I'm just saying, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. The whole time I'm like, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> yeah. It was probably I was watching it, too. And I was like, wow, I, I'm shocked at myself for being able to have explained that. So you articulated it very yeah, well. Yeah, because mm -hmm. usually I'm a rambler. You know me. Yeah. But that that came out pretty well. So I was proud of us. And uh, it just brings me to beg, as usual, everyone to make sure you're following us on all social platforms. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're taking TikTok by storm, ladies. I'm mm -hmm. I'm in it now. I'm involved. <laughs> I'm getting. You I've are got, a TikToker I've now. got lovers. I've got haters. I've got s thoughts. I've got, you know, whatever. And we're, we're going to flip this shit upside down, I think. Yay. That's, that's going to be my goal. So... Thank you guys for listening. Hope that I didn't accidentally spoil too much of Succession. And uh, we'll see you next week.